All right, so it's 6.30 a.m. Now for the day. I, uh, I've been a quote-unquote birthday ride in several years. I'm an easy guy in bed. Do is go out, do a mile for each year of my age. It was one year of my So, this year I decided, yep, let me do it right here in the field. And, uh, had the green forest 60 miles out. I feel good, I'll keep going. Now it's already in point. Another dozen miles or so. Anyway. The weather was really good when I started out, probably mid-60s, almost no wind at all. Coming up on the Ronkonkoma train station from the road behind the trees there, I could see this 66 or 67 Charger like my brother Bill used to have, so I had to go take a look. It looked like somebody was actually living in it. This restored gas station in Yapank is great. There's even a mannequin inside and some cars. My father had a gas station in Bayshore in the 1940s, so this is a little bit of nostalgia for me, too. An interest in history runs on my father's side of the family. The Manaville Historical Society's president is actually my cousin Agnes. I pass this road at work a lot, but I've never been down here to actually see what's there. There's an old building at the end, which you'll see in a minute, and then there's a fishing access site. The Hover Air X1 does really well in follow mode. It's one of the things that my DJI drone doesn't do well at all, so this is really good to take along on the bike and stick it in my pocket or a small bag, and it'll just follow me along. It's pretty amazing. This park in downtown Riverhead's pretty neat. Lots of water, walkways, sculptures, landscaping. There's this outdoor stage here that I'm up on. I can ride, uh, there's a ramp around the back, so I just rode my bike up onto it. This stretch of road in South Hold, down by Downs Creek, is really pretty. There's a lot of water views. It's uh, one of my favorite places to ride out in that area. Diane was waiting for me when I got to the North Fork Roasting Company. We headed back through Greenport, out through the village of Orient, heading back to the car, which was out at Orient Beach State Park. Wetlands are always one of my favorite areas. There's lots of wildlife. Uh, you know, Diane and I are both bird watchers, so you go along, you keep your eyes out, you know, see something like this cormorant sometimes. Getting back to the park and taking this road, uh, it's a pretty long road and it's pretty wide open, so sometimes there's a real strong headwind. We were pretty lucky this day, there wasn't much wind at all, just a nice cruise back to the car. Once again, playing around with the circle mode on the Hover Air X1 drone. All right, so that was it. Uh, eight hours total, five hours, 42 on the bike. I stopped for the coffee and video and some photos. Um, so here we are, Korean Beach State Park. Diane drove out here and then rode over and met me at North Fork Roasting, which was probably about 15 miles from here. We took a little bit of a long way back, but she got 30 something miles too. The 76.7 is my longest since uh, since I was probably around 30 years old. So not bad. I felt good. Probably could have gone further. Well, that was exciting. I don't know if we can see it. I'll turn this way. If you look behind me, way out there, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. Pretty much all straight behind me out there along the far light house. So we're not going out there. Today. I'll do a video probably on the fat bike uh, over the winter maybe. And we'll ride out there and do a thing. So, so that was that. Except for ride, for a little something to myself.